Well, good evening. I will call to order the special meeting here at the Kent Falls Township Hall. Thank you very much for allowing us to have the meeting here tonight. And we are here for a public hearing to discuss revocation of uh, County Highway, as that would be? County State Highway. Number 14 from, and it's alignment to Highway 52. So we have a motion to open it to a public hearing. Let's have them just go through everything before we Okay. Yeah. Yes. So as, as the chair Linda, uh, mentioned here, this is a process required in the state statutes that um, the county can revoke a section of a county state highway or a county road back to a township. Um, in this particular case, the reason why we're really we good a small section of it was, as we all know by now, and then that through the regrading project on Highway 52, made closed quite a few of the entrances the, and, and exits to Highway 52 to reduce conflicts and accidents. Um, and as part of that project, and as this other shorter drawing over here shows, Part of the project that Minda did for us is um, we contracted with them to have them build up this section of Highway 14 and connect it up to uh, 63rd Avenue in Cannon Falls. And, and as we did that, uh, this is the new alignment 414. And it leaves just this little stub out here, which is still technically on the State Aid Highway, but it just really doesn't fit on the State Aid Highway. Generally speaking, state aid highways, where well, they cannot end as a stub. Uh, state aid highway has to end at a new state aid highway or at a state highway, one or the other. So the county board at this point has a choice of either just making it a county road or turning it over to the townships. And in the other cases where we've had this type of a situation, we've turned it over to the township. It doesn't even really fit um, the, the purpose for county roads. You know, the main purpose for township roads is to provide access for landowners to get to a higher level of, of road, either county state or county kind of or state road. So we're asking for township. Um, you know, we, we, we want your opinion on this, but we're asking that you, know, you would take it over as a section of your county, your township road system. And once it gets put out to your system, you get that, that bit of a mileage too for that um, your allotment for the town of uh, Rural College. So in order to do it, um, like I said, we, we need to have, a, have this public hearing. And the main purpose for the public hearing is to hear from the town board and to hear from anybody else in the public who has anything to say about, about this. If they like it or if they don't like it or whatever. So that's the, really the purpose at this point, is to have a public hearing. Um, so maybe if we would you know, open it up to any comments to the public, or anybody that has anything, any comments they'd like to make concerning this process of turning this back to the township. Move to go to public hearing. Second. Second. All right, so we moved to the second to open up a public hearing. Are there any? Comments, questions, people from the public who would like to speak on behalf of Yes, we do. Thank you very much. All right. We have a motion and a second to open to a public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you very much. Now the public hearing is open. Questions, concerns, comments about the turning over of the road to the township? The two residents that live there, will their addresses change to 57? Um, you know, I, I talked to emergency management, they're the folks that determine what the addresses are, and they had already um, changed that to Whatever the 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57. Yeah. yeah. So they 
they changed that. Um, I'm not even sure when they when they made okay. that change to the fifth set of buttons. So they should have no change in their address at all. Okay. What we're doing here. Okay. Yeah, if it had been such and such on county 14, then yeah. it would have. But they already had it listed based on the grid system. Actually, they had changed it to 340th Street Court. Oh, really? 340? If that's what this says, yeah. So my guess is that's what it's called. Because 340th would be the town line. Right? Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's called 57th, isn't it? Yep. Huh. So they got a so, letter about this that the two homeowners already or something that they're aware of? It? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, we did. We we don't send a letter to all the residents along the section at all. So I, know, I guess the emergency management would have been one one. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe we should check with them. No. Well, we can check with the emergency management. Is there actually two residents, or is there a business center? I think it's a business center resident. There's not two dwelling homes. Right. Just two business centers. Jared Miller's got the one the yep. other one. And then, um, who shot that is? Who is that? Or is it his shot? No? No, I don't know who shot that is. Okay. Well, you can say the nickname, but I'm not going to say it. According <laughs> <laughs> to the, the, the county's maps, there's a, a leader of it. Bifro? Bishop? Bishop is who Bishop it says owns it. Yeah, yeah. And then to the south, we have Jared Miller. Jared Miller had both parcels. There's two parcels there. Okay. One in Cannonball and one in Cannonball. Now, we picked a particular location of where to cut it off here. Um, it was, MnDOT did the, the survey of it, so we used the survey points that MnDOT had used to establish the road. And we could have brought it closer back up to where 14 is, but we as the county wanted to keep control over this little drainage pond in here, because that way you guys don't have to worry about keeping it clean or any maintenance that would require for it. And the vast majority of what it's draining is actually 14 water. So that's why we, we wanted to bring it further away, closer to 52, and this is just the logical places to use benchmarks, uh, points that have already been put out there by Amanda. And that's where the, the description came from for the parcel. So they'll be, they'll be plowing that first little start of that lift then. Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah, you'll be. And then we'll have to take it there. That's kind of an odd, probably gonna do that. But, you know, the winter, I think. Yeah. The guy, generally speaking, I'm sure the guys that come up, they're probably not going to go back up to that point and turn it back. Um, Did we turn, do a turnaround down there? I don't think we have a turnaround. Yeah, we do. Do we? I don't even know, know what's there. I guess I haven't been there since they closed the yeah. office. No, yeah, that's a good turn. It's a They just, they both went on the They haven't built a cul-de-sac yet, though, have they? I think they're still, they were still using it as an access for for the road construction. For road construction to bring snow. Yeah, you're right, they are. Yeah, they're but that's it still will be a call to set. It's still the okay. turn. Yeah, we need to know. Okay. Now, one thing about this about this whole process is, you know, we can have a meeting tonight, and, and assuming the board approves it, then this will be, be authorized to do this transfer. But we can't actually do the transfer to you until we get the paperwork from MnDOT because we still haven't seen the actual right-of-way documents for Highway 14 itself. And with MnDOT, with a large project like 52, they, they're redoing a lot of their property descriptions, so it could be a while before we actually get those, those documents. So, and a, the resolution we put together basically says is that this will become the, the, the township's responsibility once um, we get those documents and we record those documents and we know we do notice that it's been recorded. Mm -hmm. And then actually the county is responsible to continue to maintain it for a two year period of time after that. That's in the statute too. Okay. But 
But the other thing, we can either continue to maintain it, or if the township wants to take it over now, then you guys can keep track of the amount of time your plow spends working on it and fill us for it. And we will reimburse your cost to maintain it starting now um, uh, until the two years after we give you notice that it's been recorded. Okay. So we can do it either way. It's, it's up to you. Generally, we find it's, it, it works. We, we think it generally works better if the township takes it over soon because then their maintenance person gets involved with it and you, you, know, you get those relationships with your uh, residents and then like say you send us a bill on a quarterly basis, end of the year basis, whatever basis you guys want to send it and we'll reimburse you. If they're, if they're going to continue to use it right now as an access so that that project is done, then any any breakup or anything that's happened to it during that period of time, they will still have to correct. Yeah, yeah. They, it, as long as they're still using it, you guys don't have, they're still maintaining everything until they actually get done and using it. As a, but, but what about if there's damage done to it during the construction? Do you know what? Who well, if, if there's, when they, when MnDOT gets done with it, we'll have to have a meeting with, we'll get together with MnDOT and invite you guys to come on to it too. We'll take a look at it. It'll be the easiest way to take care of that, to make sure that they leave it in, in good condition. Do they have to, does MnDOT have to, once it comes out of, it's under the control of Mathewitz right now. Right. The contract. Yeah. When Mathewitz, Mathewitz is done and releases it, and MnDOT, re, MnDOT releases it, they will come to the county. And that, at that point, is when we need to say with you, yeah. this is okay or this is not okay. Because, and then, and then it will, that's when we can actually do, turn it over. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's when, as far as MnDOT's concerned, that's when we would be, that they're not responsible for it anymore, so when they're done, they need with us and then tell us that they're done with the road. So, that's when we'll, you got to remember to do this. <laughs> That's why we'll have a meeting and you know, we'll invite the township out and take a look at it and make sure everything looks good on the road uh, before math was locked away. Right. And then that is when the two years would start. No. No, no. we we'll start no. now. MnDOT has control of the road. Mm -hmm. They own the right of way. That has to be conveyed to Griffin County. Yep. That's what takes time. Oh. Yep. So until that's done, we figure based on what they told us, it would be a couple of years, yeah, for sure. So once that happens, then we start the clock. So you're saying it'll still be a couple of years before it's even to that point that it's turned over to the county? Yes. Yes, because it'll take that long to move paperwork to transfer all the right of way documents into the county. So technically, until they do that, it's technically still a minute. They still, until they turn those those right away documents to us, it's their will and their response. And then it's two years after that that the county still maintains yes. it before we turn it over. Or, or the first year. Thank you. Yeah. How do you like that for me to time? Might be four years or <laughs> 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 Exactly. So Obviously, Greg wants to clean up something for you. <laughs> <laughs> So the cul-de-sac they're putting in, this is a paved road. Are they going to pave that cul-de-sac too? They should. Yeah. They should. As well. We'll check with them, but yeah, that, we were intending to pave that as the cul-de-sac as part of the project as they're done with it. And the plan is I've seen. Because the question I have is, as a township, do we really want that paved? with one resident on there, or do we want the whole thing? It's awfully expensive to maintain it's, somewhere in the future. Because at some point, we're going to have to maintain it if we, if we leave it at us. The MnDOT hasn't done anything with that pavement that's in place now. I don't think no, they have to. So, I mean, if anything, you could, you could have them obliterate that. Yeah, we could have them turn it to grass. That's, that's the question. That would be better for us. We really don't have any equipment on that cost. I would have them reach could reclaim that and then put rock over the swamp around when they have to do something like that as well. <laughs> 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 One person looking at it. You said you like your job, but I don't think you're going to be around that long. We 
do the headache for the next one? Yeah, push it down the road for somebody else to leave it. Yeah. And that's uh, yeah, yeah. the only reason we got these positions here is paving the way for our grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you want to pay. I just heard you say it. <laughs> yeah. And that would be the only that's, uh, asphalt that we have. Yeah, right. Right. No. So it's easier for you to keep a gravel? Yes. Yeah, because if you set your set up for that, that, it's expensive to maintain asphalt. Yeah. Someday it's, it's going to need to be resurfaced or. Right. We should or contact that resident though and talk to them yeah, first before we, we do it. So yeah. At least give them a chance to complain. I'm sure yeah. they will probably complain. Yeah. But, right. yeah. <clears throat> but it's too short for a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's a pain you know, on yes. did, you, did you get rid of that piece that goes up to on the east side of 52 that goes up to the storage building? No. No. And no, that, that is still that small. That's it. That was good. That would be. It's got a commission that pays attention with their townships. <laughs> <laughs> I know when they're not telling me all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That one slipped by everybody. Well, <laughs> it technically is in the city of Kent Falls. I don't know why you got it out. I mean, just it blows my mind. Well, there was there was a few other mistakes made in that. It's in the right way and everything. It was just yeah. it was pulled apart. That was fumbled by several oh, different entities. <clears throat> Three times, don't you? Yes. Do we have anyone else who would like to speak on this issue for tonight? All right, third and final time. Do we have anyone else that would like to speak on this issue? We can close public comments. Second. second. All right. We moved and seconded to close public comments on Highway 14. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes. So what we're looking to do is pass this resolution. And you guys had a copy of the resolution? You read it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there really wouldn't be anything for us to sign at this point, right? Yeah. No.